Brad, as a warm welcome to Northampton. Uh, first couple of weeks, how have you settled in? Yeah, good, really. You know, thanks for having me, first and foremost. Um, no, really, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed um, the playing group and obviously the coaching staff as well have been uh, really welcoming. So, um, yeah, just really impressed by, by the facilities, obviously the players, the staff, the quality of coaching that the players are getting as well has been, um, you know, has been really good. Um, so, yeah, loving it. What was it about you, your record in league obviously speaks for itself. What was it about Northampton, I guess, and this opportunity that made it the right time to step across? Yes, um, so I was I was heading to Australia. Um, I obviously had a role with um, with Samoa in the World Cup, and you know wanted to continue that. And and you know I had my eyes set on going out to Australia. And um, you know whilst out there, um, my agent called and said, um, you know Northampton would like to speak to you. And sort of the first conversation through um, Zoom I had with with obviously Phil and Sam. I don't know. I just got a good feeling about the place, and um, you know liked the philosophies of them too in terms of how a club should be run and, and the brand of rugby that they play and I don't know it just um, sort of struck a chord with me I suppose As as someone looking from the outside what defence was obviously something last year that probably needed an improvement what was your outside view of that of how that needs to be tweaked and, and what you can apply to that um, Yeah look I, I think I think by playing the brand of rugby that they play there's naturally going to you're going to do a little bit more defending I think that that's um, what one thing was apparent so I've obviously gone and spoke to a lot of ex-league players who's now coaching in rugby union so um, your Jamie Langley's at sale uh, Martin Gleeson was previously with England sat down with Kev and and one thing that was sort of synonymous with them all was they all said if you can just get them to defend a little bit better these blocks stand a chance so and that was word for word all of them so um, I saw that as a bit of a challenge as well. Um, you know, what, what areas can they improve in and what areas are relevant from rugby league, what I've coached previously and what can be transferred across, I suppose. So, um, yeah, I've been sat down and watched, you know, some of the games from last year and certainly the early parts of pre-season. Um, I think there's some some easy gains, but there's some gains that, you know, are going to take a little bit of time as well. And is that the thing? Is it about those small incremental gains rather than trying to just sort of sweep the board and I, go? I from... think the sport is that. I think the more little gains you, you know, little contests you win during a game, the better chance you give yourself of winning a game of rugby. So, um, yeah, definitely. And you know, the movement stuff, the decision making stuff, um, just communication is, is, a, is a, you know, an easy, an easy game. Um, and particularly doing that under fatigue, um, you don't have to be a good rugby player to, to be able to talk when you're tired. So. Um, I think that's an easy fix up for us. From what you've seen of the group so far, they're, they're the kind of group that are open to that kind of learning and that will pick that kind of stuff up. Yeah, good good age, keen to get better and been really receptive, obviously, you know, so far. So, um, yeah, really impressed.